Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Oliver Ames High School for the second game of the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. This one features the Needham Rockets and the Oliver Ames Tigers. The last game was Brockton versus Walpole. Walpole getting a 31 point victory, 62 to 31, the final score in that one. The Needham Rockets are wearing their away navy jerseys with gold and white trim. The Tigers playing on their home court in their home whites with orange and black trim. Number 10 bring it up for the Tigers. That is Abby Reardon, the senior captain. Scoreless 45 seconds into this one. I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action courtside here at Oliver Ames High School. The next matchup game three of this tournament one to watch Cardinal Spellman versus South Boston. Number three for the Rockets, Mariana Jansen. Over to Caroline Clem. Clem now to Maeve Barker. Barker turns it over to number 14, Caroline Flynn, the freshman of the Oliver Ames Tigers. Jansen turning it over to Kayla Raymond. Raymond to number 41, Katie Flynn. And Oliver Ames, it's a three there, up three to nothing, 6.20 left in the first. Now a three for Clem, no good. Oliver Ames with the rebound, loose on the floor, jump ball. And OA will, are they gonna give it to Needham? Needham clean inbounds. Jansen with a quick two, no good. And all the way in alone on the other side is number 10, Sammy Kaplan. She puts it off the glass and in five, nothing. Tigers. Oliver Ames up five, nothing with five and a half to go. And now Jansen for three is good. Needham's on the board. Bouncing around loose on the floor. <laughs> Jump all the way will retain possession. This is Caroline Flynn, the freshman. Turning it over to the Rockets. Chancen across to number 11, Lily Charter. And an offensive foul.
Kayla Raymond. Now in for Flynn. Offensive rebound for the Tigers. Flynn deflected off of one of the Rockets. It will remain in Oliver Ames' ball. Raymond over to Reardon and a travel committed by the Tigers. It'll go the other way. Mariana Jansen, the junior. No good. Raymond quickly gives it to Reardon. Flynn's going to be called for the travel. Need him basketball. Jansen is Needham works it around the outside. Seven on the shot clock, Oliver Ames picks up the loose ball. Now Raiden all the way ahead to Raymond. Raymond to number 14, Caroline Flynn. Back to Raiden, to Flynn. Long two, couple bounces off the rim, no good. More than halfway through the First quarter, it's five to three, Oliver Ames on top of Needham. In game two of the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament, three minutes to go. In the first, a travel called against the Tigers. Sammy Kaplan back into the game for the Rockets. Foul called against Abby Reardon. Oliver Ames stealing the inbounds pass. Three-pointer for number 15, no good. Brought down by number 14 of Oliver Rams, Caroline Flynn. And a timeout called by Needham. With the Tigers winning seven to three with 221 left in the first quarter. Last game, of course, Walpole getting the victory over the Brockton Boxers to advance to the title game to face the winner of this game tomorrow night here at Oliver Ames. Coming up next on Brockton Community Access, it is the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals 
against South Boston High School. And after that, it is the Brockton Boxers men's team against the Oliver Ames Tigers. Winners of those two games will go at it Friday night in the title game here at Oliver Ames. Number 12, Caroline Clem, freshman guard, headed to the charity stripe. Clem no good on her first attempt. One of two at the line for Clem, seven to four, the lead for the Tigers. This is Reardon working her way in, finds a hole off the glass, no good, gets her own rebound. Now pump fake, top of the key, a little floater, no good. Needham coming down with the rebound, now this is Kiara McIntyre, all the way in, a little underhanded shot, no good. Katie Flynn will come back into the game for the Tigers. She replaces number 23, Alex Sheldon. Only two seniors listed on the Needham Rockets roster. We have not seen one of them in action yet. The other is Sammy Kaplan. And there's three seniors on the Oliver Ames roster. Katie Flynn, Kayla Raymond, and Abby Reardon. Very young tournament. Might not even be 10 seniors between the four teams here in the girls slate. It is 11 to four. The Oliver Ames Tigers on top, now 12-4 as Raymond hits a free throw. Weird in for the Tigers. Off to Flynn, back to Reardon, high off glass, no good. This one off the glass and in is, it's now 12-6. Ellie Skolnick for the Tigers. Now Flynn top of the key, pass broken up, but Oliver Rams retains possession and now a block is going to be called against Mariana Jansen. The turnover now 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. It is 12 to 6 with the Tigers on top. Needham creating the turnover now. Jansen with 10 seconds left. Jansen working away inside, finds some space. A little windmill is good with two seconds left. Buzzer sounds there. The first quarter has come to an end. It is 12 to 8. 
The Oliver Ames Tigers leading the Needham Rockets by four in a competitive matchup between two young teams. Difference makers for OA, it's Abby Reardon. And for Needham, it's Mariana Jansen. Reardon, the senior, Jansen, the junior. Tigers put up a strong showing in the first quarter. Needham hanging in tough, only down by four. Jansen in the corner. The second quarter is underway. Now Jansen from the charity stripe, no good. Kayla Raymond ripping down the rebound. Raymond to Megan Holleran. Holleran to Reardon. Reardon underneath the basket, no good. McIntyre comes away with the loose ball. Reardon can't control the steal. And now OA has clear possession. Three pointer, no good. Rebound attempts, also no good. And a foul against the Tigers. No one has scored yet in the second quarter. More than a minute in. McIntyre over to number 22, that is Jenna Petronio. A hold called against the sophomore Megan Hollerin. Now a three for Jansen is no good. Flynn with the rebound, quickly giving off to Reardon, a minute and a half into the second. A long three, no good, as OA has started to just hock him up. McIntyre and alone. Her layup off the glass and in. 12 10 as Needham is the first team to score almost two minutes into the second quarter. Now a three for OA. McIntyre to Jansen. Back to McIntyre. Ultimately finding Jansen again, driving between Tigers and a block from Flynn. Now reared in, into Flynn under the basket. Jump ball.
Layup no good, Oliver Ames with the rebound. 5-10 left now in the second quarter. And a five point Oliver Ames lead. Three is no good for OA. And the rebound bounces out of play. Number 15 for three is good. That is Maeve Barker. Now the Tigers with a little anything you can do, I can do better. No good McIntyre with the rebound. Counted in one for Kiara McIntyre. Block. <laughs> Called against Caroline Flynn. And all the rims is going to burn a timeout now, all tied up at 15. Well knotted up, 15 to 15, 425 left in the second quarter. Between the Needham Rockets and the Oliver Rams Tigers. McIntyre to attempt a three-point play the old-fashioned way. McIntyre good from the free throw line and Needham has their first lead. This one ping ponging around Reardon in the corner driving baseline, little floater no good. Offensive forward no good on the putback attempt. Oliver Ames comes down with it yet again. Halfway through the second quarter, 16-15, Needham on top. A lot of passing for the all Rams Tigers. This shot no good. And an offensive foul called against number 12, Tate Hadges. McIntyre to Julia Evans off the glass and in. Eighteen to fifteen, Rockets on top. McIntyre over to Charter. A three from Kaplan is no good. Away comes down with the rebound. Three minutes left. And along two, he's good. Oliver Ames back within one. Good stop by Aaron Tebow. 
the prolific cinematographer who was on the baseline. Made him trying to extend the one point lead. We will not give this, this one out of play. Abby Reardon, senior captain. McIntyre comes up with a clean steal. Or so we think. And an elbow against. That would be number 12, I believe. Uh, number 35 called for the foul. Kayla Raymond. McIntyre is back at the line. One on one shooting situation, no good, and it will be in Oliver Ames basketball. Reardon low off glass, no good, and an offensive foul again. Reardon called for the push. Her second personal. There will now be Sammy Kaplan at the line for a one and one. Reardon's gonna come out of the game in favor of Caroline Flynn. No good on the lone attempt. The three-pointer is no good. Brought down by Alex Sheldon of the Tigers and another foul with 2.05 to go. A push called against number 22 of the Rockets, Jenna Petronio. Get on her first Oliver Ames now in a bonus situation. All tied up at 18. As Needham has the ball. Mariana Jansen. Jansen over to Maeve Barker. Barker now to Kaplan. Kaplan back to Jansen. Force down low for Barker, back out to Jansen. Jansen stopping and popping off the rim, no good. Brought down by Kayla Raymond of the Tigers. She quickly gives it over to Holleran. Two no good. And now Raymond on the putback. Off the glass, and then OA has the lead yet again, 20 to 18. Outside for Raymond, her three no good, wrapped it down by Caroline Flynn. Flynn on the two no good, and a couple players sliding to the floor, and we have yet another foul. This one's gonna go against Julia Evans of the Rockets, and that puts Alex Sheldon at the line for a couple of shots. Two 
Sheldon called for the holds. Bring it all the way down the court for a one and one situation. That is Sheldon's second personal. Good on her first attempt was Evans to earn the second. McIntyre back into the game for Needham. As Holleran comes down with the rebound. One three, no good. About a second and a half difference between shot clock and game clock. 30 seconds. Now 25 left in the second quarter. 20 in the shot clock. And all Rams has a three-point lead, 22 to 19. McIntyre is good. 10 seconds to go. And back to a one-point edge for the Tigers. Long three is good, a buzzer beater for the Tigers. That was number 14, Caroline Flynn hocking it up from about 20 feet, the buzzer sounds. And we are at halftime, 25 to 21, the score, Olive Rams on top of the Needham Rockets. We're gonna step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels, because love has no labels. Listen. All it took was someone who would insist that I just try. Suddenly everything was turned around because they judge you. You tell them, I don't need this. No one is going to understand. Unless they've been through it, how can they? Then one day you realize, You feel so hopeless. I need help. I need help. You feel so hopeless. Then one day you realize... Unless they've been through it, how can they understand? I don't need this. No one's going to judge you. Suddenly everything was turned around because they insist that I just try. All it took was someone who would just... Listen. Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Olive Rams High School for second half action between the Needham Rockets and the Olive Rams Tigers. In game two of the Olive Rams Holiday Tournament. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. A 25-21 lead for the Tigers coming into the second half. On the last second buzzer beater by Caroline Flynn. 
Mariana Jansen. To Clem, back to Jansen. Jansen driving inside, little floater off the glass, no good. Out of play off of the Tigers. And we'll do it again. Winner of this game going on to face the Walpole Rebels. Rebels defeating the Brockton Boxers 62 to 31. As Maeve Barker steps over the end line. Out of play. Too hot to handle for Alex Sheldon out of play. Rockets take over on downs, 25-21 with 7-10 left in the third quarter. Clem out to Jansen. Now to Barker, her three is no good. And a Tiger rebound. Picked a toe action in the shot, no good. Jansen comes up with a loose ball. Counted in one for Mariana Jansen. Block called against Alex Reardon. Her third personal. Jansen's at the line attempting to draw her team within one and does just that, 25 to 24. A one point edge for the Tigers. Back and forth, led by Kayla Raymond at the top of the key. To Flynn. Tapped out of play off of the Rockets. Shot is up and good. 27 24, three point edge for. Tigers. A layup, this one off the glass and in. 29-24, five point lead for OA. Jansen over to Barker. Barker to Caroline Clem, the freshman. A little two, no good for Lily Charter. Put back attempt also unsuccessful. Oliver Ames back the other way. Everything's falling for the Tigers right now. It is 31-24. A timeout called by Needham with 5.22 to go in the third quarter. The next game on the slate is Cardinal Spellman in South Boston. The Knights of Southie. And the Cardinals of Cardinal Spellman. Winner of that game will face the winner of Brockton High versus Oliver Ames. Potential for an all Brockton boys final. Jansen for three is good. 31 to 27 the score. Good 
Good work by Raymond to keep this one in play and a foul. Foul called on Jansen. Her second personal. And a three is good for Megan Holleran. Holleran with the rebound, 34-27 the score. Attempt no good, and then number 13 for the Rockets. Julia Evans comes down with the loose ball. <laughs> Offensive foul is called against Holleran. Charge. Number 22, Jenna Petronio into the game for the Rockets, along with Kiara McIntyre. McIntyre with the ball. Thought about shooting, instead gives it off to Jansen. Now to the corner for Barker, her rainbow three no good. Corey Hardy, the freshman, into the game for the Tigers. Wearing number double zero. As Alex Sheldon is fouled. A hit called against Jenna Petronio, her third personal. Two fouls against both of these teams in the second half. McIntyre with the rebound. 35-27 away on top, 3-10 to go. In the third quarter. So knocked out of play by the Rockets. No good. A jump ball. All the Rams will retain possession. Playoff all of Rams, 2.51 to go in the third quarter. All of Rams up by 8, 35, 27 the score. McIntyre for two is good. Three-point attempt, no good for Raymond. McIntyre to Jansen. And a three for Needham. With two minutes to go in the third quarter, 35-32. It's a one possession game. Raymond to Ball and ripped away and a hold. 
called against Maeve Barker. Barker's second personal, the third on the Rockets in the half. Slowly working their way inside, and now back out, and a push is going to be called against number 22. It's Petronio, her fourth personal, and she will come out of the game. A three, no good for Raymond, and the jump ball. Needham will take over, good work there by Tori Harney. Jansen to McIntyre, back to Jansen. One ten left in the third quarter, it's still a one possession game. 35-32 the score. Another jump ball called, Oliver Ames will take this one. Needham with the full court press, a minute left in the third quarter. And Harney couldn't handle the pass. Jensen to McIntyre. McIntyre loses it, picked up by the Tigers. Got to finish those. Number 23, wide open layup, Alex Sheldon, and she couldn't finish it. Short two, good, and we have a one-point ball game, under 30 seconds to go. The foul is going to be called. A hold. Against Kiara McIntyre, her first personal, but the fifth against the Rockets. This one deflected. Another foul called. A push. It was called against number 13, Julia Evans. Four seconds, a desperation three, no good. Less than a second, the shot will not count, didn't go in anyway. End of the third quarter, 35 to 34. Oliver Rams up by one over the Needham Rockets in game two of the OA Holiday Tournament. We've seen Walpole defeat Brockton handily by 31 points. Next up is Cardinal Spellman and South Boston. After that, it's Oliver Rams and Brockton in the boys' slate. Quite a competitive matchup right now. OA against Needham. Eight minutes 
on the clock. The final quarter to determine who will face Walpole in the championship game. Kira McIntyre. Now Jansen to Barker, back to McIntyre, back to Jansen. And number 12 swinging a three, no good. Caroline Clem, the freshman, and McIntyre comes down with the rebound, underhands it to Jansen back to McIntyre. Her three is good. And Needham once again has the lead, 37-35. This one deflected out of play. Travel call against Solid Rams. Now OA working the full court press the other way. Need him breaking that as Clem has her shot blocked. Stepping over the baseline was Barker. No way he takes over on downs. The four was very clearly fouled. No call. Jensen to McIntyre. Seven on the shot clock, a turnover. Oh, eight comes up with a steal. Long two, no good. McIntyre coming down with the rebound for Needham. Off to Jensen. Jensen to Barker. Her three is no good. Oh, eight with the rebound. Tigers trailing by 237-35. Need them on top. And steal McIntyre's in alone. Her layup is no good. Now on the other side is Raymond off the glass and in tie ball game. Foul called as Barker hit the floor. Now Reardon to Raymond, her three no good, brought down by Clem uncontested. Barker off the glass, too much mustard. All the Rams back the other way, five minutes to go. And a tie ball game. Abby Reardon quarterbacking the offense of the All Rams Tigers. Tip ruled, no backcourt violation. Now three, four, all of Rams no good. Number 12 coming down with it, Tate Hadges. Needham has it, and the jump ball called. It will be a Needham basketball.
Timeout called by Oliver Ames. 37 to 37 tie game. 439 left. Just about four and a half to go. All tied up at 37 for the right to face the Walpole Rebels for the championship. The All Rams Holiday Tournament. Ball on the floor, Reardon fighting for it. Another jump ball and Oliver Ames will Give up possession to the Needham Rockets. Four and a half to go. OA. This one against number 23, Alex Sheldon, her third personal. with the turnover after going 2-2 two two at the line, 39-37. Rockets with the lead halfway through the fourth quarter. McIntyre to Clem. Back to McIntyre and another block shot for the Tigers. Jansen picks up the loose trash. Their shot no good. Plum with a rebound trying to get, force it to McIntyre no good. Now to Jansen. Parker, rather Clem for three, no good. Left alone on the other side is Raymond. No good, but will be at the line for two. As it was Barker, oh, it went down hard. Raymond at the line for two shots. Missing her first attempt. One of two, 39 to 38, need him on top. Oliver Ames in a one on one bonus situation now with seven fouls against the Rockets. Reardon trying to force it through. Does to Alex Sheldon. Now Raymond for three is good. And OA has a two point lead yet again with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Three attempt, no good. Offensive board for Clem. And a jump ball called 
will be in Oliver Ayers basketball. Turnover and Clem off the glass and in, tie game. Come up called by Oliver Ames, 2.36 to go. In an action packed game, 41 to 41, we are all tied up between the Rockets and the Tigers. I want to thank our cast and crew for today's festivities. Game two of four today. At the helm, Paul Mandeville, award-winning director and producer. Next to him is Anna Coots, graphics, replay, audio. Inside the gym, the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow, <laughs> Levi Johnson, Katya Andra, and of course, you're listening to myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Most important position of the day, cannot forget. Newbie Rat Toe coming through with the food. <laughs> Who's sleeping right now. He's missing a phenomenal basketball game. for the Tigers. Now Flynn, her pass for Reardon doesn't connect and it's out of play. Needham's shot is good, 43-41 the score with the Rockets on top. McIntyre to Jansen, back to McIntyre. Her three is no good. Offensive board for Maeve Barker. Now to Caroline Clem. Jansen pump fake for three. Gives it off to McIntyre. Jansen off the glass and in. 45-41, a four point edge for the Rockets and a timeout by Oliver Ames, 135 to go on a four point edge for the Rockets. Needham in the driver's seat with a minute and a half left. In game two of the Oliver Rams Holiday Tournament. Everything holds true. It'll be the Walpole Rebels and the Needham Rockets in the title game tomorrow night. for three, no good, brought down by Flynn. And a jump ball, Needham will take possession. Jansen is all the Rams might have to foul. One 
10 to go. Down low for Clem off the glass and in. They need him now firmly in the driver's seat. 47-41 the score. Rockets up by six, a minute to go. Reardon trying to force it inside to number 23. Another jump ball called and OA will have this one. Reardon now as the Tigers try to get it to Kayla Raymond. The three tipped, no good. Maeve Barker with the rebound, that'll pretty much do it. 36 to go, and Raymond is going to foul. Maeve Barker, who will be at the line. Jansen quickly fouled by number 14, Caroline Flynn. That is the last foul Oliver Ames has to give. And this one will put the Rockets in a one in one shooting situation. Caroline Clem is at the strike. Good on the first turn in the second. That puts the Rockets up by seven. Two a two in eight point edge. And that one will pretty much seal the deal. Twenty seconds to go, a block for Clem. And Reardon. It's a foul. A hit. Reardon's fourth personal. And McIntyre's at the line for a couple of shots. With 19.7 to go. No good on our first. Does not get a second. Reardon handling the pass. And will be... At the line for two shots, a block called on Barker. Barker now in serious foul trouble. That is her fourth personal foul. They're no good on her first. One or two and an immediate timeout by Oliver Ames. One must wonder why with 13.5 seconds left and a seven point lead for the Rockets. It's 49 to 42 with the Needham Rockets in the driver's seat to face the Walpole Rebels in the championship game of the holiday tournament here at Oliver Ames. on Jansen is Oliver Ames firmly believes that they are not yet out of this one.
12.6 to go. Jensen good on her first attempt. We'll get a second, 50 to 42. Eight point edge for the Rockets. Five seconds of long desperation. Three is out of play. 1.8, Needham to inbound. Jansen holds on. Buzzer sounds and this one has come to an end. The Olive Rams Tigers falling to the Needham Rockets by a score of 50 to 42, an eight point win for the Rockets. They move on to play the Walpole Rebels in the title game. Olive Rams Tigers will face the Brockton Boxers in the consolation game tomorrow night at six o'clock here at Oliver Ames. We're gonna take a quick break and then we've got the third game of the night as we move to the boys slate. It's Cardinal Spellman and South Boston going at it. Final score on this one, Needham 50, Oliver Ames 42, an eight point win for the Rockets. We're going to, again, take a short break. And for everyone here at Brockton Community Access, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We'll see you next game.